Hi guys, I'm on an up-to-date system. It's Hyperland. Uh, let's show you that in here. Start with this ISO that never will change, right? This is just a number to tell that's what you use to install. Right? And a reference to an ISO, nothing more. So if you update your system, you get all this. Okay, cool. And I wanted something else. I wanted to have not the default um, lines, colors, wallpaper, but I wanted to have variety starting up in in the beginning, right? When I reboot, when I boot, it needs to give me a new guy, a new element, new wallpaper, whatever, but a new wallpaper. So start variety when a computer starts, change wallpaper. Eh? That's all set, but this is not a normal desktop. This is Hyperland. We need to help him and tell him, okay, if you boot up Hyperland, go launch variety and then it will work, right? So Hyperland is hidden away in the word hyper. So the folder hyper. And now I need to find out where do we start stuff? So in the scripts, there is a status bar, startup. Oh, st startup, let's have a look. Let's make it a little bit smaller. And here he is, variety. That's all I need to do is tell boot up variety. So it's not anymore. And it, this applies to so many tiling window managers. It's not here. Normally you decide to put things in here. Yes, you can launch things in here with, with Dex maybe, right? It's an application, but most of the time you launch applications in here. Say, so, okay, I want to have variety there. And if I am on the real metal machine, I mean a machine that I use, right? I'll use also Google Drive in sync and I use Dropbox. But all the others are at this point in time not necessary. But variety is, and this is where it is, startup. And that's what I'll do. Furthermore, workflow kind of thing. If you have everything set the way you like it, you make sure you have a backup. So HyperMine is my backup. So compare. I don't want to see the things that are the same. I want to see the things that are different. And that's it. Next time around, if I do a scale, which I will do at some point in time, right? I'll have my thing here. This is the one. So I put everything back and that's it. And I'm back in control. Basically, title the video, how to make sure that an application auto starts at boot up. Variety as example. All right. Cheers.